Hello, welcome to Loot Boxing Day with the So Rare Thursday Club. We are week one of transition phases in the box, uh, and loot boxes are all over the place. So either why not? Why not have my loot boxes on camera as well? You know, so we can all see me grab a load of boosts. But you know, never know. Maybe it will be my lucky day, and I'll have a sneaky little card in there, a sneaky little sausage card in there. We'll see. Um, I'm joined, as always, by my glamorous co-host, Dornado, who's here for the fun. How did you find the first week of the new phase of So Rare? Uh, I mean, we talked about a little bit last week. The setting of the teams was chaos. Um, chaos. There's yeah. a lot chaos. going on. It's very difficult to know where I'm putting these players, what's going on. Do I need to put these in the cap two fours? Do I need to put these in all stars? It, it took a lot of brain space to work it all out. Um but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed, I was buzzing to sort of see how it all went. Um, I had, a, I won a few loot boxes myself, couldn't resist opening them. Um, never wait for show, can you? I never wait for show, but I did get three boosts. So just to spoil the surprise. Um, three for boosts for the club so far then. Boosts. Um, yeah. Uh, no, it was good. Uh, Everton let me, t on, a, on a personal note, Everton let us down with a nice little Seamus Coleman 96th, uh, 92nd minute own goal, uh, which was lovely um but yeah it was good and you're in a great mood to open them right now aren't you because you've just come off watching a lovely little uh 98th and 101st minute loss to chelsea uh for man united so yeah. you're probably in you're probably in a good move to open 11 level ups I 11 level ups yeah we're doing it on thursday night i've saved my prizes uh as always for a thursday night where we're together um yeah there's a lot going on a lot of team, lot of teams to set, a lot of panic. Very hard to track or really like, you know, follow what was going on um, with the promotion and relegation things. Still yet to be decided on what I think of that. Um, I did press play, you know, when it entered the new game week. Did you see that big tunnel graphic where it's mm. all green and then you zoom in and then how many promotions you got and then it turns red and you see how many relegations you got. Like this team here uh, in season division three went down. Uh, went down the can in week one. We had a double boxer with 308 in the Premier League Classic. Uh, Anthony Gordon, very good performance there from ex-Everton legend Anthony Gordon, 135 points while getting sent off with his old Everton buddies. Um, nothing for Dwight York's Barmy Army. We got a box here in promotion with my Premier League team. Luis Diaz doing uh, the work for them there. Cole Palmer, he's putting another 100 tonight. Also had a good weekend. Uh, that was just a, my Division 1 team staying safe for another week on 366. Uh, promotion for uh, my Champion Classic Division 2 team, led by Kimmich. These 50% captain things are really important, aren't they? That's what I took from the weekend. Uh, they make all the difference. We're safe there. We went a heavy championship in a lot of places. Uh, so we got promoted from Division 5 with one box on 320 points from the Coventry, Cardiff and Norwich boys. Uh, 393 got me a double box in uh, Division 1 here. Mainly Norwich with Luke Ayling in there as well. Uh, big day. Gabriel Sara getting on the score sheet in Game 2. Um, he always does. Yeah. Nothing going on for a, a while now. Whole lot of nothing. We've got a box here in Division One of Contender, led by the GOAT Chazinia and Cameron Carter Vickers. We got promoted in Division Two as well. 353 points, and we got a box and another promotion in Division Five. So it was good work in Contender. Um Gonzalo POV bagging over a hundred. But yeah, it was very interesting. Very hard to track, is what I took along from it. Another box here with a DMP, um, a box here in it's my super rare. It was so much going on. It was chaos. It, uh, it, it, certainly, it certainly is chaos. That's how I describe it. I think, I think uh, it needs a little bit of work on streamlining the chaos somehow. Yeah, so being able to check up on it and view what's going on. Yeah. I think they're trying to make updates a little bit as they go along. There's been a few little updates already. I've noticed that you know, make things a little bit easier. So maybe it's a little bit of learn and learn and change in the first month or so. Um, yeah, I, I like what I haven't liked so far is that the team names you give your teams one week maintain till the next week. So like 
if you've named your team something to do with that those specific cards you've put in, which I did with a few, you have to then go in and change it because otherwise it's, it looks stupid. Um, so I don't yeah. Know maintenance unnecessary maintenance yeah. i think maybe it'd be nice to have like categories on like the screen like your current results your teams where they like a view where you could see who's moved into promotion who's in the relegation yeah. who's safe things like that so like you were sliding up and down or like league tables where you could see yourself like how far how many positions you are away you know just a bit more like something you can be involved in so you can you can follow it and be like oh my my division five teams just moved into promotion places. You know, I, yeah. I don't know. I think it'd be finessed. Obviously it's only week one. Uh, we did win one card as well here in cap 270 rare. Good old cap 270 rare, uh, tier five Maximilian Mitchellstadt, who is, you know, he's the goat at the moment, isn't he? He is the budget. Um, Grimaldo. Yeah. Budget Grimaldo. That's what I was thinking of. Been a long day. Budget Grimaldo. Uh, absolute top lads. But there is the fluff to build suspense before I get to opening the loot boxes. We have 12 rewards up here. I've already done my super tunnel of color, so we don't get to see that again. I uh, will open the coins for suspense. A lot less coins given now. Um, very stingy on him. Yeah. Very stingy, which is, you know, perhaps good because, you know, me and you and probably a lot of other people have built up a stupid amount of coins. I've got like 100,000. You've probably got more. Um, uh, just under actually, I'm on 93 nowadays. I spent 50 grand on a hoodie. That's true. 15 grand yeah. on a hat. I think it's probably good to make it a little bit more difficult to get them, so that it's you know it's got an actual value almost in a way. Um, yeah. yeah, it depends what they do with it, what they offer in the shop for you to be able to spend it on. Um, mm. I guess it might let them bring the values of things down. But they could add some coins to boxes as well. Maybe that's the way they're going to do to make boxes a bit more varied. Like mm. maybe put raffle tickets for jerseys in or things like that. Yeah, good um, idea. Coins, I don't know, just more stuff. So the more of them comes out than just boosts. So you know, I think that would be good. It's worth worth noting my boxes at this point completely glitched out and uh, wouldn't open. So I had to figure something out afterwards. So hopefully that doesn't happen with you. That'd make a good video, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's go with the prize first, shall we? Yeah. Um, let's see if we get tier four rare from Cap 270. Korean defender. Japanese defender. Japanese <laughs> defender. Oh. Oh, he's good. I actually know him. He's injured, I think. Um, but a very, very good scorer. Uh, worth... You up on screen. Um, oh, here we go. Let's have a look here. Worth fifteen pounds, which you know is actually not that bad for a. Um, that's a really good last year of performances there, though. Look at that. He's consistent, very consistent. Um, but yeah, scores wise, good. Yeah, you look at his green there. He got a lot of hundreds. He's a very attacking fullback. He's someone I very almost bought just before he completely crops himself. Does it say what his injury is? Broken kneecap. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, let's let's see. Maybe, maybe that'll end up being a quite a good little prize, long-term hold. Yeah, for tier four, I don't think it's too bad. Um, Hatanaka's just come back as well, isn't it? So, he has. Uh, he got 78 yesterday, and I'm, I'm dying to have a little bit of Hatanaka back in my life because he is an AA monster. Hatanaka back in rare and Kikuchi back in limited yes, as well. So yes, hopefully some of those... Yeah, monsters from the old Asian region um, can come back, but that, that's not bad for a tier four. I'm I'm reasonably pleased for that. So let's start on loot boxes. Um, so I don't think so. Like the box, like the things before. I don't think these will open at this point. They'll tell you what type of box they are, and then you have to go off to another screen to then open refresh them. and do it again. Don't you? That's right. Okay, so that's probably why I went wrong then. So we got an elite box, and also I was trying to figure out what. Which one is the best one out of Elite and Premium? Is Elite the best or is Premium the best? Mm, good question. Rare obviously, standard. Obviously, stand, I mean, you could probably tell if you went and checked the prize pool, but at the time, I was like, I don't know which ones of these are the best ones. I can't remember. Yeah, uh, another Rare standard. So, so we've got Premium, Elite. Standard is obviously the basic, I'd say. Premium. Oh, Elite. elite. 
what's better, elite or premium? I can't tell what's better out of those two in, in terms of terminology. It looks like the elites are from finishing higher up. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so I think elite's elite higher. Okay. Elite, when I've come in the top 100, so I'd say it's elite. Okay. Uh, I'm sure we could just go on to a game we can find out. But, um, and a basic one. Basic bitch. So there we go. We claimed him. Quick refresh. And it freaked out. Drama. Oh, they're there. Okay, so uh, it didn't do that for me. It didn't show them on there. I had to go onto the Sora app on my phone to open them. Oh, well, let's hope this 10 minutes of build up for this video was worth something. You know, I've got a feeling you've got something really good. I don't know what it is. I've just got a feeling. All right, let's start clicking on them, shall we? Let's have it. Are we going to go for anything? Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Good. Level up. Get in. Tricky. So one of one on level ups. Rare level up in the box. So this is another two. Okay. Hey, yeah. We double up. up. I mean, it's worth noting as well. I actually think the level ups aren't. You know they're quite good. It's good to level up your cards. It's good to get the. You know, obviously not great. And you'd prefer to win cards, but I think the idea is to use them on high level cards, though, isn't it? Like when they're mm. level 17, 18, 19, and you don't always have a lot of those. Oh, oh level up. What did it say? What box that was when you were opening it, or did it? Does it not say? No, it just says that it's was a, a double, a two limited. This is a one limited. Uh, right, I see the number on the side. I get it. And another level up. Oh my god, these level ups are so good. <laughs> are we gonna, are we going to clean sweep the level ups? Another one if, limited. If this video doesn't get a thousand likes, I'll be surprised. Yeah. Please like and subscribe, and all that vibe for watching me open level ups. Uh, another one. Hang a on. double. Hang on. Oh, the level ups kind of look like cards as well, a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another level up. Clean sweep incoming, do we think? Nah, I've got a feeling. The tier five limited's coming on its way. <gasps> I mean, the joke, it is kind of exciting. Oh, here we go again. Box with a number two on the side in yellow. Oh, cat's keen. Oh. I did also, I've mentioned this, I did win my first limited card from a rival's box. Did it you? Tier, it was a tier five. It was rubbish, but it was a card. I won three arena tickets. How many's left? Oh, this is the basic box as well. So I'm not expecting much here. <laughs> that is a basic filing cabinet right there. Basic filing cabinet for a level up. And we clean sweep them, boys. Get ten, 10 of 10. <laughs> level ups oh. that's the content we're here from we slow rolled you all the way up to level ups so the main question here is who are you going to use your level ups on yes well um <laughs> who's, it, who's a euros card my harry kane is particularly low level at the moment because he's an old season card so on any level ups i'm getting i'm just smashing straight on harry kane yeah i think i'll probably go for euros cards or yeah um maybe some of my new season premier league cards something like that maybe to get them up a bit higher but we'll right. see who's we'll see who's at high level and pick we'll probably pick something 15 plus and just whack it on them to try and get them higher um before we go so asked us if we ever dreamed of playing at anfield um as an everton and my united supporter i think we can say no absolutely fucking not terrible prize what the fuck they need to think about what they're doing <laughs> um, I will not be able to enter because I have a rule where I don't own Liverpool cards and you need two to enter so mm. unfortunately if it's something that you are interested in I guess uh, what is the prize pool three spots to play at Anfield with a person of your choice mystery jerseys signed things reward boxes I guess if you're a Liverpool fan or a neutral then that is kind of exciting maybe um, but for me 
I weren't buying the Liverpool cards required to go Absolutely. in. Um, two more things to ask you about just before we sign off. Continental Knights special. Did you see this one? I saw it announced and I read this brief uh, overview of it here. I haven't looked too much into the the ins and outs of it, to be honest with you. So um, I saw they mentioned about shirts potentially being in the in the uh, loot boxes, which I'm sure will be a 0.1% chance. But um, yeah, I like any any extra little things they put in. I think are good. Yeah, so I guess this is the start of like, well, it is a special weekly. It's called a special weekly for the European and you know, the America's competitions. But this is what interests me, the player card requirements. Two player cards with a minimum last 15 average uh, score, 55. Minimum one player with a maximum of 40. Maximum three cards from the same club. So there's a bit of like creativity to the team building for a change. What was the one... What was the one they did something similar to that? I, is that what you're thinking of? Specialist? Yeah, specialist. A, a crap player and um That's right. You only allowed one over sixty average, weren't you? And then two had to be under forty, wasn't it? Or something yeah. like that. I like um, these ones where you've got to think of it a bit differently. So it's got the three European continental leagues yeah. and the three American continental leagues. Um and maximum three players from the same club, which is which is a new one, isn't it? I don't think we've had something like that quite yet. Um so, that, so that's good. And like, like I said, it means people have to, have to actually put a little bit more thought and research into things. You know, I'm, I'm all for stacks. I, I don't mind stacks at all. But, you know, um, it kind of evens the player field a little bit that you have to have two shitty players, one really good player. Um, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's interesting. Building a different style of team is more fun. And that's the type of thing I like to do. And it does say prepare and boost your lineups, which I can now do with my 10 boosts that are ready. Um, <laughs> it's cool. I think that's a good idea. That's the type of special weekly I like to see where it's just a bit, it's got a bit of flavor to it. And adding that, you know, one with a maximum of 40 sort of makes everyone feel like it's a level playing field because everyone's got to have a shit person in. Um, and then or, the last thing. Or we can hunt those, uh, those low value. Uh cap ones like like the good old cap 220 days get that zero value keeper in zero value keeper yeah it's a great idea in that one or someone who's coming back from injury and just come off the bench in the last game something like a kikuchi maybe something like that uh last thing before we go was they did talk about the promotion and relegation thing we touched on how the first game went went didn't they and they said that it's going to update after the game week closes doesn't it so mm. your team if they're promoted or relegated will change after you've entered it I don't think that's the best, you know, I'm not, I'm not one with great ideas to how I go about fixing it, but that doesn't seem great. I know this first week was maybe a bit of an outlier because there's so much going on in the midweek where usually you don't have quite so much going on in the midweek. So maybe yeah. it's much, but it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? To try and track your teams that have been promoted and relegated and you enter what you think is like, oh yeah, I've just entered my, Div two team, I just put them in there. Oh, but they've been promoted and now they're not good enough. They're going to get relegated. It's a bit, a bit another thing you have to keep it's, track of and try and follow. That it's a retrospective thing. I think they probably didn't think about, um, yeah. and it's unfortunate they didn't think about it because it's quite important. Because um, this this type of announcement, there's no way they thought about it. Otherwise, they would have included it in the original announcement about how it was going to work. Um, I think. Yeah, it's a bit of a an oversight. I don't, I think, I don't think it really changes a huge amount personally, but I think some people, I've seen a lot of people not particularly happy about it on the yeah. on X. Maybe you could have rolled it over to the next week. Your changes coming, your promotion relegations. But yeah, I don't think there'd be as much usually in midweek, so maybe it won't be as pronounced as it was this one. But yeah, it's just another thing to keep track of, and we've already got quite a lot to do and keep track of yeah. for each game week at the moment. So maybe not ideal. But we'll see how it goes. Week one's in the can. That was a lot of um, boosts being opened. So if that's not the content you're here to see, I don't know what is. Please like and subscribe and all that vibe for more excellent, exciting loot box openings. Uh, and we'll be back with you shortly with more insanely exciting content like that. But for now, um, we're out. Viva La Thursday Club. Out the toffees. Get some more loot.